Hello and welcome to the first video tutorial of working with the new and improved 2D Radar Builder. Now, this version of 2D Radar Builder is the regular version, meaning that the source code is not included. However, for a version of 2D Radar Builder with the source code included, please see 2D Radar Builder source included. Now, unlike other 2D Radar systems which you've seen for Unity, this radar system is far more powerful far more flexible and you'll never have to code. Now in this tutorial I'll be going over five points and these are creating the radar, designing the radar, setting the radar's rendering camera, setting the scene scale and finally setting the radar's position. Now to begin creating your radar you'll need to have your 2D radar builder editor window open and that's this window here. If you do not have this open, then what you'll need to do is head on over to Tools, Diamango, Radar, and 2D Radar Builder. Now, you can go ahead and dock this window. Now, before we begin creating this radar, what I'm going to do is simply run this scene to show you the radar which we'll be replicating throughout this tutorial. Now, we'll be replicating this radar to the lower right. Now to begin doing this, what we'll need to do is to just simply click Make 2D Radar. But first, what I'm going to do for the sake of this tutorial is to name this radar Toot Radar. Great, now we click Make 2D Radar. Now our radar has been created. Now the first thing that we want to do for this is to design the radar. How do we want it to look? Now we're just going to turn off Visualize and simply select the layer or we can select the tutorial radar go to designs and then go to default radar sprite now we're just going to change this sprite to the fog layer sprite here then reduce the opacity then we're going to duplicate this layer and then once more we're going to change the sprite to the thin circle sprite great Okay, now that we've done that, what we're going to need to do now is to set up the radar's rendering camera. Now, when you create a 2D radar, we also create a rendering camera for you. Now, this rendering camera is created so that you can render your world space object, which is your radar, in screen space. But because we already have a rendering camera in the scene from our previously created radars, we're simply going to delete this rendering camera. Now, how these rendering cameras work is that they will only render, or I should say, you should only set them to render specific objects that are on a specific layer. So, in our case, since this is a radar rendering camera, we only want to render our radars. And how we render our radar is that we give our radars a specific layer. So we're going to select our radar here and go to the designs layer and then set the layer of the set the layer of the design to be radar UI. Yes, changed. Okay, great. And then what we need to do is ensure that our rendering camera will only be rendering anything with the radar UI layer. Great, as you can see there. Good. All right, now to set up the rendering camera for the radar, we're going to go over to our designs area and to the tracking settings and simply drag our 2D radar's rendering camera into the slot. We will also need to specify what camera our rendering camera's position will be proportional to. So we need to either select manual camera setup and drag our main camera into this area or if we're going to have a camera be instance at runtime then we can use use camera with tag and then select a tag or we can use always use main camera now we're just going to select manual camera setup and leave that as is now next what we need to do after setting up the rendering camera is to set the scene scale. Now you can think of the scene scale as a zoom. The further you zoom out, the more objects you can see. The closer you zoom in, the less objects you can see. So if we're working in a small level, then we need to set the 
scene scale to be small. If we're working on a large environment, a large level, then we need to have a larger scene scale. Or depending on how you want it. So we're going to set this to 30. Great. And now finally, what we need to do is set the radar's position. Now to set the position of the radar, we'll go to our designs area here. And this is quite fun and interesting as we have our snap setting and our manual setting. The manual setting simply allows you to manually position the radar. And we expect this function to be less used than the snap setting. So you can position this radar 100 pixels from the left and 100 pixels from the top of the screen. But we're just going to go with the snap settings and we're going to snap this radar using what we call our nine point snapping feature to snap to the center of the screen. By default, you're going to be snapped to the bottom left. We want to snap to the center. Great. And now we're simply going to run the scene and show you that everything's been set up correctly and our radar will be rendered in screen space in the game. Now, in the next video, I'll be going over how to set up your blips so that they look exactly like this. So, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.